Climate adaptation for our natural resources, like our forests and streams, is a great way to protect communities from the impacts of climate change. These types of projects are often less expensive than built infrastructure and put boots on the ground, creating economic opportunity in communities across the country. Hi, I'm Keith Underwood, principal of Underwood & Associates here in Anne Arundel County, Maryland. We're at the Anne Arundel County Department of Public Works Central Sanitation Expansion uh, Project. The initial plans for this project included more than a mile of concrete pipe, of reinforced concrete pipe, um, the installation of a very large stormwater management pond, the conventional ponds with steep sides that we see along the highways. Um, those ponds, that pond cost, uh, was, was proposed to have cost over a million dollars. Anne Arundel County uh, decided to employ uh, newer uh, more effective, more environmentally friendly approach to managing the water train, uh, you know, generated and leaving this property here. So what you're looking at behind us here is essentially an extended stream. This takes the place of pipes and drop structures, uh, capturing water off of the highway and parking lot, um, and uh, converts that water to groundwater seepage and base flow for the receiving stream uh, downstream of here. So in total, we saved perhaps three million dollars on this project and put a live stream back on the ground. The neat thing about restoration projects like what Keith is doing is they're really win-win situations. In this case, this type of project uh, improves the landscape um, the Chesapeake Bay watershed, as well as uh, protects communities from the impacts of climate change that they'll see for years to come. What we're already seeing here, uh, stronger storms uh, that we're seeing with climate change, um, these systems that are processing water with stream restoration techniques well connected to the floodplain are better than the old structural approaches because they're increasing the time that it takes that water to, receive, to, to, to reach the receiving stream channels in Chesapeake Bay by perhaps orders of magnitude. So by taking this approach of integrated um, water management throughout the uh, entirety of the project site, we were able to save 35 acres of riparian forest, streamside forest, along the entire length of this stream here. So here we have a complex ecosystem. I mean, look, there's several species of dragonflies swimming around. There's frogs in the pools. Um, you can just about see the material processing happening. In addition to mitigating some of the impacts of climate change, projects like these are real job creators. A University of Massachusetts study shows that per million dollars invested, we can create upwards of 40 jobs. That's more than many other economic sectors, including renewable energy and fossil fuel production like coal and oil. So the same guys, the same machinery that you see behind us uh, building the uh, end pieces of this stream system are some of the same, very same folks that would have been putting that destructive concrete pipe in the ground. You know, there are jobs, design jobs, engineering jobs that were involved in the early phases and then construction and, and um, landscaping jobs in the later phases. And so it's really, uh, projects like these are an opportunity for, for white collar, blue collar, job creation and really uh, get folks, uh, particularly folks who are already in the utility industry who are used to laying pipes and doing that kind of work, um, a diversified set of skills so that they can not only continue to do that and upgrade those uh, utilities that need to be fixed, but also be a part in this restoration revolution that we're trying to do in order to get to clean water in the Chesapeake Bay region.